And now Josh and Thomas is coming back to play. <laughs> Myself, uh, Jessica, your host, uh, Ladane Loverboy Washington, and Nubian Secret are part of a larger group of spoken word artists called Revolution Theory. We do perform here in Lafayette locally. You can find us on Facebook. So if you guys want to come and hear some spoken word, just hit, up, hit us up on Facebook and we'll give you all the information that you need. This poem um, was not inspired by anything I've ever been through in my life, but I, I'd say I wrote this, this poem through vicarious pain. The name of this poem is Happiness is My Revenge. There was a time when I lived for your approval, made decisions based solely upon your judgment, planned every single solitary detail of my life for your discretion, only to receive your blessing. Countless hours of stressing, uncertified teacher lecturing a pointless lesson. The catch was, nothing was ever good enough for you I was always a day late and a dollar short, as you put it. Always ridiculing me because I had my own style and didn't quite put things as you put it. Even had me questioning my own inner beauty with the constant verbal abuse. It's as if my spirit was the neck and your words the noose, suffocating the very life out of me. Always blocking my son trying to take the light out of me. Always saying I'm wrong, trying to take the right out of me. Always provoking me to anger, trying to take the nice out of me. I wish a random stranger would have stopped me and said, you deserve better than this. I wish a family member would have poured a healing sentence into my soul and ended with the period of a kiss. But no, I bitterly received every blow you had the energy to give. And at my lowest of times, I figured it was easier to die than live. And one day, after years, my God, one day, the voice of God herself penetrated through the concrete wall, my safe haven turned prison I constructed to keep you out. Catch 22, it kept me in. This voice swam the mode of negative emotions and crossed the drawbridge of my mind only to whisper, come out and go. Come out and go. And with that tiny sentence, gigantic changes occurred. I left your hell in search of my heaven, only to leave and step out in front of a metaphorical mirror, which objectively reflected I was bruised, broken, and needed a long time to heal. And yet, in turn, it would be a long time before I could feel anything. Excitement. Joy, and yes, even love. Because right now, at this very moment, I need to love me. No distraction, no sharing, just love me. And in time, my wounds grew scabs. And eventually my scabs fell, and I've taught myself to take pride in my scars. Because they remind me. <laughs> they remind me that I am a survivor. You know, for a long time I planned and plotted Miss Stephen on exactly how you and I would become even. Would I kill you? Nah, nah. I don't want to go to jail. You know what? On second thought, I'm going to do the time. I'm going to kill your ass. Nah, I don't want to go to hell. And it hit me. Like a stray dog running out into the interstate in 5 o'clock traffic, it hit me. Fighting fire with fire is a battle no man can win. But as I drank my tall glass of water, I thought, 
happiness is my revenge. Everything you've done, all the abuse, it was just a ploy. What your thieving behind was attempting to do was steal my joy. So I'm not going to hate you. I'm not going to curse you. I'm not going to fight. And after careful consideration, I'm not going to kill you. Because the worst punishment of all is you having to live this thing we call life as you. And hurting people hurt people. But I exercise my power to break the chain. But I promise you this. I will never be hurt by you again. So I'll receive your fuck yous and return forgive yous. I repay your hate with indifference. And now you swear you'll never speak to me again. In my reply, good riddance. I will laugh five times a day and will shower all those around me with unconditional love. And it's not that I'll never trust a human being again. It's just that I place ultimate trust in the spirit that flies above. And everything I do, I will do so with the best of my ability and vow to make a conscious decision to live, even if it's killing me. I will learn new things daily and become more and more intelligent and learn to see myself as God does and remember the way that others see me is irrelevant. I will remind myself of how wonderful I am and work on believing it as I'm saying. Because this life is like a bed. You own it, make it, and then lay in it. I declare myself free from your bondage. The victory is mine and I choose to win. I'm filled with love and hate no man. Happiness is my revenge. <laughs>